Hey everybody and welcome back to Kirby's Epic Yarn! In the last part we finished up Hotland and in this part we're going to be starting Treatland with Toy Tracks. So let's get going. This level itself is actually pretty fun, although it has without a doubt the worst copy ability in the game, the train. And just about every person who's played this game will say that that is the worst one. Okay. I am sorry, I'm just checking on my headset stuff, so... You're going to kind of jibble around a little bit. All right. So to start this off, you just want to pull off this car right here. Pretty simple to do. And, uh, well, I knocked over the Waddle Dee, but I need to do that. There we go. And after that, you want to do the same thing here, just so that way we can get on top of that platform. Okay. Let's get it right there. Go ahead and jump up. Take care of this guy. Uh, Treat Land itself is actually pretty uniquely designed. I really like it. Um, although it can be a little too kiddy at times, but still, it's a pretty fun level. Okay, just use this to get on here as a stepping stone, get some beads up here. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and go this way. Or not, gotta wait. Yeah, okay, I wasn't gonna risk killing that guy. I'm like, no, if I do that, he's gonna throw it and there's not gonna be anyone down there. Uh, so you just wanna use this as a lever, so that way you can get your first treasure. The uh, stuff there, which is one we need for an apartment. Uh, which today we should have enough uh, things in the apartments to go ahead and get the uh, next thing done. Let's just go ahead and bring out this duck. Oh. There we go. He's dead. Pick up my star. Some little duckies right here, I guess. Alright, there we go. Uh, so now we got these little uh, nutcracker things, I guess is what they're called. I can't really decide, you know, which one they are. So we just want to go ahead and head in here. There we go, that way they don't crush us. And kill that guy. Alright, it's kinda careful. Okay, get the bead, then head up here. Yeah, I don't think you can make it through that uh, without getting hit, so don't try it really, as I can say. <clears throat> okay, let's wait for this. Oh, wow, I actually got it. Right, just wait. Okay, do that. Go back in. Get another bead. After that, come on out, and there you go. So now we're getting another second treasure. It's pretty much just going up to that guy right there's hat, so let's just head up there. There we go. I just need to wait. Alright, there we go. Ah, dang it. I missed. I may be able to get back up there. Okay, well, that's close. There we go. And that will be the tin robot. Alright, so now let's head down here down here we have a little robot. Uh, just be careful not to let his feet crush you when you're trying to get these beads. Alright, there we go. Also, this world probably has the uh, hardest boss in the entire game, personally. Well, I guess hardest to figure out, really. He's really wacky in a way. You'll see him when we get to him later. Let's go ahead and do that. Get some more beads here. Alright, jump. Okay, we just want to head over here. And jump again. Watch out for the Waddle Doo. And now we just want to pull this here. And that will be acting like a little roller coaster. Okay, come on. Oh, great. He's still. No wonder. I was like, why is he not doing that? Okay, come on. And ride it. We. A big planet did it better. Uh, well, I miss a little big planet. I can't play because my PS3 is still broken. I hate that. When I get a job, that's going to be the first thing I get is the new PS3. I'm so tired of waiting. I can't play my Ratchet games on it. And I can't play, like, other stuff that's coming out this year, like Last Guardian. Personally, I kind of am more excited for that than Skyward Sword, but Skyward Sword's still great and all, but, I mean, The Last Guardian, I'm just really pumped for. There's no treasure down there, as far as I know, but, okay, there's a wild do, do. I guess I'll just see here. Okay, go ahead and head up here. There might be something, though. No, there's not. Okay. Well, let's head back real quick see if I didn't miss anything. Yeah, these robots are uh, infinitely spawning, so if you miss something, just wait for the next one to come along. Like this. Uh, also, speaking of... Uh, well, I guess I haven't said anything about it yet, but... Um, Ever since the last recording session, you guys may remember my commentary. I said I'm going to have to download the uh, Kirby soundtrack. I actually did that, and... Uh, it is still very good to listen to. I love it. Without doubt, this game is not my favorite soundtrack of all time. 
It is just so great. Uh, yeah, I've actually put a lot more music on my MP3 since then. I put the Clanet OST on there, I put the Wind Waker soundtrack, uh, put another game soundtrack on there, I guess. Alright. Well, up here we should be getting up to the uh, last treasure, which I think is up here. Okay. There we go. Go ahead and slide down here. Is there anything over here? Nope. Alright, we just want to take that off. They'll reveal the bear. And we want to fix his little owie. There we go. And for that, he'll uh, give you a lollipop full of beads. Okay, the last treasure should, should be coming up. Well, no, it's uh, when we get to the train, which is actually right now. And this, my friends, is the worst ability in the game. Because it's very tedious and it can be kind of awkward to control, but yeah, it's not that hard once you get the hang of it, but still, it's pretty annoying, especially if a jittery hand like I do. Yeah, this is pretty annoying. But anyway, just follow these beads and you'll be fine. Like that. Yeah, Kirby can also go upside down on this, so... My best way to get around this, uh, if you're first time playing, I've just found it to uh, just hold in the A button and let Kirby do the work for you, pretty much. Like that. After that, I want to make him go up here. Okay, come on. No. There we go. Okay, we want him to get on that. Okay, we want him to head up here. And this will give you a little boost. And this is how you are going to get the uh, CD of this place. It's just continuously boosting. Okay, there we go. Just want to get the beads in here real quick. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, I didn't say this. If you press the B button, Kirby will uh, head backwards. Alright, oh, let's get him to come up here. Great. Come on. Alright. There we go, that'll give him that other one, and this will get me the CD. There we go. And now that's done. I oh, forget it, it's fine, I don't need anything else, I'm already beating the level. Uh, try to get these cabooses. Mm. Cabooses, if you can, or whatever they're called. Uh, because if you do, they will give you a star. go, come on. Yeah, I just want to keep making them get to you. I think all in all there's three. And there we go. Let's go back to normal. Yeah, I, did, I got a lot, I missed a lot of patches on that one. Well, for this bonus reel, but I got a gold, so I don't care. And there we go. Okay, so now that we got the hammer. Well, he threw it all the way across there, didn't he? And this is Mushroom Run. Or, in this case, I call it Mushroom Hill, uh, knockoff or whatever, just because of the way it reminds me of Mushroom uh, Hill so much from Sonic 3. Oh well, anyway. Music's still good here. What am I saying? Music's great in every level.